Hi everybody, it's Ruth here from Mediocre Mama channel. I hope you're doing really well. So I'm almost 33 weeks pregnant with my third baby, uh, which means it's time to get this bad boy back out. I love using these pregnancy balls. I've used them for my first and second pregnancy. Um, I'm using it now again for my third. It's really, really great to relieve kind of aches and pains that you have in your body, especially your pelvis, your hips, your back, ribs, those types of aches and pains. So I'm gonna show you how I use my birthing ball. There's Lily around the house. Um, how I use it to make my body kind of feel a bit more comfortable in the kind of later stage of pregnancy. Now these balls can be used in pregnancy, labor, and also after you've had the baby as well when you wanna get back in shape. So they are really good and you can use them for quite a long time. Uh, now I got this one from Argos. It's only $7.99. Now I was shopping around and I nearly bought one for this pregnancy um, on Amazon for about £20 um, because in previous pregnancies I've just borrowed one but I needed to get one for myself this time and couldn't believe it was only $7.99 in Argos so if you're looking for a nice cheap one $7.99 in Argos um, and it works really well. I also used this one last time. This is the brand that I borrowed from somebody. So I know it is a good one. It's anti-burst. Um, it doesn't seem to deflate. So I know it's a good brand and it works really well for the price. So even though it's cheap, it's still a really good one. So when you're purchasing a birthing ball, you really need to check the size of it. There are different size balls for different heights. So depending on how tall you are will depend on the size ball you need. So I'm about five foot four, five foot five, and this is a 65 centimeter birthing ball. So as I mentioned briefly before, when you're buying a birthing ball, make sure you get the right size. There are about three different sizes. So depending on what your height is, you just need to check which size ball that you need to purchase. And then make sure you inflate it really, really well. It does come with a pump, but just make sure it's pumped up correctly. Your hips need to be higher than your knees. So make sure that's the case when you're sitting on it. So the different things I do, here I'm doing some pelvic tilts. So just rocking my pelvis back and forth, which really helps to ease any discomfort that I have, especially if it's in my lower back. And then I do some side to side hips. This feels really nice and also stretches out any tightness that you ha might have in the sides of your body. I'm then just doing some hip circles and this is a really nice one as well. It feels really good and it's one that you can use also in labour to help relieve any pain and it also helps to get baby into the correct position. And then I kind of move into doing a figure of eight. So sitting on the ball and moving your hips like you're drawing an eight in kind of both of the, the directions. And that's a really good one for relieving lower back pain. And it also helps to move baby's head down into the pelvic area. Now I'm really no expert with these kind of movements. I'm not a medical expert or a gym expert or anything like that, but these are just positions I know feel really good. And I've read them up on the internet and looked them up online. And they're just things that help me to relieve kind of aches and pains in different parts of my body. And if you have a toddler around, they will always wanna have a bounce on it with you as well. Now one final one I do, and I don't really do this very often because I don't like to be on my knees for a long period of time, but just leaning over the ball, giving it a good hug and kind of rocking my pelvis back and forth as well. That feels really good. It takes a lot of pressure off your back and your hips and also helps with position of baby as well. It's also a really good time to sit on the ball and do some pelvic floor exercises. I'm never really keen on doing these. I don't think they feel very nice but it does feel a bit better when you sit and do them on the ball. And this is so important. Your pelvic floor is a really important muscle to look after to help you push out baby, but to make sure that afterwards we're not having any accidents like weeing ourselves. Another good time to use this birthing ball is when you're working. Now, a lot of us will be working at home anyway, but I expect most of us sit in an awful office chair all day, kind of slumped at the computer. 
So if you can replace your chair with a birthing ball, it would be so much better. And I even read that people who aren't pregnant, lots of people who work in offices and tend to get bad backs, will take in one of these gym balls to sit on. It will just relieve so much discomfort and pain and pressure from your back. These office chairs just really are not good for posture at all. And you can continue to bounce and do pelvic tilts and rotations. All good for your back, pelvis, hips, and of course, position of baby. And it will just make sitting at a computer or a desk for a long period of time much more comfortable. I also find now in the day or in the evening when it comes to kind of sitting down to relax, the sofa is so uncomfortable. When you're kind of slouching down, my ribs start to hurt because there's pressure across my bump and my back starts to ache and it's just not comfortable. And then of course, once you've kind of been sat there, kind of slumped for a while, it also makes it really difficult to get back up off the sofa. So I find it much more comfortable in the day if I'm watching telly with the kids or even in the evening to watch a film or anything that I want to do to unwind. Sitting on the ball is so much better. I can take, take away any discomfort, relief, any pain in my back and of course it's much easier to get back up off the ball than it is a sofa or the bed. So these are just a few ways that I use my birthing ball. Um, I'm not a medical expert, I am not a gym professional or anything like that. So I cannot advise on specific positions or ways to use the ball, but most of them come with instructions. There's guidelines on the internet and all sorts of help out there. These are just the things that I've picked up and I've learnt um, and the different ways that I relieve my aches and pains. But just to show you how useful a birthing ball can be at home, I know some people don't end up buying them but they do really help towards the end of pregnancy when you can't sit on the sofa or in a chair and it really hurts and it just aches it just relieves so many aches and pains so I do really recommend one and then you can use it when you go into labour as well it's a really good um, help of relief of pain in the kind of early stages of labour but you can also use it to get into position to give birth as well Thanks so much for watching. I would love for you to stick around and follow the rest of my pregnancy journey, uh, labour and birth perhaps as well. So do make sure you subscribe and I'll see you on my next video. Take care. Bye bye.